The aim of this video is to help you to build the Chroma 4 GFP. Section 6 Side Chains Tyrosine Attach six 120 degree trigonal carbons together using grey bond tubes to form a hexagon. Make three double bond assemblies by fitting translucent adapters into grey bond tubes. Fit the double bond assemblies into the hexagon so that they sit across alternate bonds in the ring. Fit a red two prong oxygen into one end of a grey bond tube and fit the free end of the bond into any free carbon prong projecting out from the benzene ring. Insert two grey bond tubes into any two prongs of a tetrahedral carbon. Insert one of the free bond ends into the free carbon prong directly opposite from the oxygen. Serine. Take a tetrahedral carbon and insert a grey bond tube into one prong. Attach a red two prong bent oxygen to a grey bond tube. Fit this into a free prong of the beta carbon. This completes the serine side chain. Glycine. Insert a white single pronged hydrogen into a grey bond tube. This completes the glycine side chain. Constructing the tripeptide. Identify the free amine group at the end of the alpha helical backbone. This is the end terminus of the peptide. The tetrahedral carbon connected to the end terminal amino nitrogen is the alpha carbon. Identify the alpha carbons on the backbone from which the side chains will project. Insert the grey bond tube from the serine side chain onto the upward facing carbon prong. The end terminal residue is now a serine amino acid. Now attach tyrosine and glycine similarly in that order. Torsional rearrangement 1. Here you will be rotating this bond. Rotate the tyrosine side chain around the alpha carbon of the tyrosine amino acid. Torsional rearrangement 2. Rotate the tyrosine side chain 180 degrees around the beta carbon so it now points down and right. Rotate the bond between the alpha carbon and the amino nitrogen of tyrosine. Cyclic isation. Replace the trigonal carbon in the carboxyl group of serine with the tetrahedral carbon. Remove the double bond and then remove the trigonal carbon and insert a tetrahedral carbon. Reattach the oxygen of the carboxyl groups that is attached to the peg facing you. Remove the white hydrogen from the amino group of glycine. Attach the now free end of the grey bond tube to the last free peg of the tetrahedral carbon. Remove the carbon. oxygen and grey bond tube from the tetrahedral carbon that you've just inserted. Oxidation. Replace the tetrahedral beta carbon of tyrosine with a trigonal carbon. Now replace the tetrahedral alpha carbon of tyrosine with a trigonal carbon. Insert a double bond between the two trigonal carbons that you have just attached. Final step. Remove the tetrahedral carbon from the newly formed ring and replace it with the trigonal carbon. Insert a double bond between the trigonal carbon and one of the nitrogens. The completed chromophore should now look like this.